Hello guys and welcome to episode 87 of my Empire Total War campaign playing as Great Britain on very hard difficulty. Today we are starting under siege from Poland, Lithuania and the Maratha Confederacy. They have some pretty nice units that they can use against us, loads of reinforcements. I'm most scared of these melee infantry though, with their 14 melee attack and 18 melee defense. Ridiculous. Let's fight this on the battle map. We do have some pretty strong artillery. I'm not sure how good the puckle guns are. But I can use them to defend gates when my cannons are otherwise occupied with breaches. Because I think Vienna has a large fort, like a star fort as opposed to a smaller fort, which would be better in this case. Right, so we have a couple of breaches. Let's set up the 12 pound of foot artillery to take care of those. We don't want to be too far forwards. Okay, let's use the three cannons on this one. We'll use the four cannons on this one since this one has more space for the cannons. We do have full units at our disposal, which is really good. I am very concerned though with how the AI uses its melee infantry because there's a good opportunity here that they might just climb the walls and then charge down at us and we won't be able to deal with that. So where do we place these puckle guns? I think we'll just maybe set them up in the center. I'm not sure what the range is on them. It's not that long. Let's put some here. We'll put some the other side. Try that. Oh, the gun's back to front on the wheels. That's really, really weird. Hmm. Oh well. And we'll just have, yeah, our pikemen can stand in the middle with them. That's fine. Since they can't go on the wall anyway. And we'll just have my general line up in front of this building. And then the rest of the units, let's just get them off the walls so that I can sort them out. Is that all of them? I think it is. We don't have any defences, which is a pain. I would have liked to have had some defences. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to have some firelock arm citizenry on top of these gates so that we don't lose all of the gates if they take the walls. Uh, we'll have a couple of militia on the walls as well because they will probably do the most damage if they're up there as opposed to on the ground. And then we can line up the rest of this line infantry alongside these puckle guns. Maybe even a bit closer to the walls so that we ambush any units that come through the gates if they manage to capture them. I guess we can sort that out afterwards. Let's just leave them in the mid for now. And then we can move them to wherever they're needed. Alright. Put these both on the canister. Tell them to start firing at the breaches. I also want to see how these puckle gun works. So... Do they just constantly fire? How long do they take to reload? Oh wow. Okay, so they're pretty fast firing. Cool. I like them. Are they taking down this wall? It looks like they are.
They've taken down any other walls that I need to know about. They're hitting the corner, that's fine. I think they're climbing over here. That is a depleted unit though, so nothing too much to worry about. They have already tried to charge in, but they got wrecked, so that's good. How's this wall doing? Still being hit. Every single horseman that came through there got shot before they even touched anyone. Looks like they're going to climb up next to this file of arms citizenry as well. Or maybe not. I hope they don't. Well, let's just go into melee and attack these guys. Kill them off. Beat them to death with your butt of, the butt of your rifle. <laughs> Now have some lancers coming in. Well, these are the first of the Marathi Confederacy forces. Really got to keep an eye on what's going on here. Oh shit! We got a whole unit climbing up on this side. We've got two units climbing up on this side. Shit! Uh, it might be worth actually sending some militia over there to fight that. And I'll bring up a a unit onto that wall there. Uh, let's bring another unit over here as well actually. Uh, we're also going to need some units up here. We've managed to make one of them route but the other unit decided to climb so that's a problem. And that's a wall that would be really difficult for us to defend because our puckle guns can't fire there so yeah this is kind of awkward. This is really awkward, actually. I think we're going to have a bigger unit come here. Oh, we're going to get a really nice hit. Oh, that cavalry just got ripped to shreds. Love it. Very, very nice. Yeah, I think these are... Are these infantry with melee infantry? No, they're not. I'm really scared of the melee infantry, I'm not going to lie. Cavalry did get to our cannons, but I think we're okay. We lost that gate, we need to take it back. Just to give them the order to attack. I think I'm going to put a unit in this building that can fire onto those guys on the wall. Also from that building I think we can fire at anything that comes through this bridge. Citizen, raise! Right away! Infantry! 
And their bonus stats are going to help them win that engagement on the wall there. Maybe it would be better for us to let them capture that one. I might withdraw from that fight. I don't know if that would work though. We'll let them have that wall and then I'll probably just turn my puckle guns towards it. Here come the infantry, which these guys are going to be good. We better hit the mark. We've got to kill as many of these as we can <laughs> without a canister shot. Otherwise, I am screwed. I really don't want this unit to capture this gate. I'm probably just going to move this unit of infantry back. And maybe the buckle guns could just fire at the unit on the wall. Didn't really think about that. We'll try them against these infantry up here. I personally think they're going to be pretty shit, but, eh, worth a try. They're just not hitting anything. Okay, we managed to capture back this gate. Very good. Get that unit out of that building now. Gonna stop them firing as we engage them. Please stop firing. <laughs> okay. God, it is tempting to fire at these in the back. Oh. 
We should outnumber them there, that's good. These Sikh warriors aren't actually getting very far at the moment, which is good to see. Right, we're starting to make them route, that's good. As soon as that happens, we can line up again and start shooting at the next guys. I don't know why they're using round shot. Weren't they using canister shot the whole time? Why did they change? Very odd. Well, we're just being hit by the random shots that are coming from these guys. This melee is lasting way too long. Come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Just bring my bike one over here. Oh, finally. They really are terrible, these buckle guns. Holy. Oh, shit. I knew this would happen. Run, boys. <laughs> Get off the walls. <laughs> You can't win against them in melee combat. Get out of there. Follow my orders or you will die. the confederacy coming in hot we'll let them have that one. Oh, I can't even take this building either because otherwise they'll just attack it I think I don't know maybe we'll be alright uh, let's just stay out of the way of this gun They're coming down. It. Uh, what do we do? <laughs> I 
I think I line up these guys like so. And we fire at these guys as they come down. I mean, this may get a bit ugly. Ooh, nice hit though. We've also got to deal with this unit of line infantry that's trying to come through the breach at the same time. So there's that. Oh, there is some some units. Are they like coming through the gate at the same time? I feel like they are. Specifically firing at those units just so they break. I need my men to take up the windows and shoot down onto these guys. Why did those men have to walk that way? That's awkward. Well, we got those guys, that's good. Fire at the bottom of the stairs. How many more of these melee units do we have to kill? Shit, I killed three of my own men. Whoops. I guess if they decide to be idiots, there's not really much I can do about it. It is still annoying, however. I really hope these two men don't kill my crew. <laughs> that would be frustrating. I guess we're going to just put all of our men into this command HQ. Pikemen are pretty good in melee, to be honest.
the last pikeman over here. And we should be good. These guys are still firing, it's ridiculous. <laughs> the unlimited ammo on artillery is just <laughs> ludicrous sometimes. can try and charge my pike ball all they like. Our uh, men taking up the windows here will do plenty of damage. Oh, what a battle this has been. Alright, we need to put some more canister through this bridge here. This could be really bad because I think we're going to lose this fight. <laughs> I may have to bring over another unit. Oh shit, they've engaged my cannons as well. Are we winning this? Looks like we are. Get these men out of the way. Then we can use the cannons. I think every time it's changed from round shot to canister, or from canister shot to round shot, is because my crew, they, well, they got decrewed. That's probably the main reason why. But that canister's definitely helping us out. Wait, are my buckle guns actually doing something? Wow. I think they are. I'll have to check how many kills I've got after this. What a battle this has been, though. Wow. We've defended so far. These units must have got attacked again. Looks like some grenadiers or something came through there. Oh, we got some more infantry on the way. Shit. Anyway, we can just recapture this wall quickly. Oh, I think when these guys come through in a, a straight line, they just get mullered by the puckle guns, actually. That's working quite well. Better than expected. And now we have that infantry coming through. Well, these are just uh, standard infantry. That's fine. They will die quick enough. I might order some canister through here. These pikemen certainly showing their worth though. Can 
completely outdated unit at this point, but standing their ground. Look at these breaches, bodies everywhere. So many horses killed, so many men killed. <laughs> I guess it's just their artillery left at this point, more or less. They do have some elephants and some cavalry over here. They've also got more infantry coming through. We'll see what happens when all of the infantry is dealt with. Because over this side it's just cannons, 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 cannons. <laughs> over here, that's men running away. Yeah, then it's just the general and his cav, and the Poland-Lithuanian cav. I actually can't believe that. Pikeman unit. 15 men left. Still being absolute champions. Yes, uh, we'll have these two units sally forth. They're actually pretty damn healthy units. Try not to put canister into them. I think at this point we may as well recapture these gates as well, just to stop the elephants coming through. I'm going to wait and see if that general's bodyguard actually wants to do anything. Got to keep an eye on the minimap really. prepare some units to go and sally forth but it's got to be line infantry so let's bring this unit out and we'll bring this unit out Okay, that's another unit of cannons destroyed. And this should be another one. Only quarter of the battle remaining.
Maybe I could bring out these militia as well, even though they've used up the majority of their ammunition. Just so that they can take the brunt of the elephants. I'm not sure how, how strong elephants are. But if they're anything like Medieval 2, for example, or Rome, I guess, then we've got to be scared. Far away, boys. doing about these elephants <laughs> they're going for that militia unit <laughs> we'll just stop that militia unit in its place <laughs> right form up men quickly <laughs> Oh god. Oh man. They do a lot of damage. Elephants are good. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> They're demolishing that unit. Just shoot them. Sorry elephants, but you gotta die. They do take quite a bit of damage from missile fire, so that's <laughs> one good thing, I guess. the general killed. Okay, no more. No more elephants to deal with from now on since we killed the unit. Right, we'll end the battle there for the heroic victory. Phew, what a battle. 870 losses, 3,145 for the enemy. I see how those puckle guns did. Uh, they got 100 kills each, it's not too bad, but when you compare it to the 761 kills of the canister from the 12 pounder, yeah, it doesn't really, it doesn't really match up. <laughs> Those buckle guns are just awful. But we'll keep them, just for the sake of having them, but we won't build any more. Once again, the outskirts of Königsberg will be raided completely, I'm sure. Got another Maratha Confederacy army on its way, it looks like it. And we seem to have triggered Savoy. Hmm. Right. Well, we have another rake, and he's spawned over here. Brilliant. Well, he can come down to this port. Trade gained, extra research points. 
That's fine. Successful mission. Another successful mission. Technology advances. We can now build rocket troops and rocket ships. Now we're going for top gallants. Extra speed in battle for ships with top gallants. An extra increase to movement range on the campaign map. That's very nice, actually. We've also completed Spinning Mule, which gives extra wealth generated by textile workshops and factories. Very good. Uh, Venice has recruited a bunch of troops. And they are going to be taken up by Alan Wheatley. Although what we could do this turn is maybe use Alan Wheatley's army to attack Genoa and then we'll use the army of Eugene here to attack Savoy. I would like to wipe out Savoy before this army does any damage. Actually, doing taking Turin wouldn't wipe them out because they own Tunis as well. Forgot about that. Okay, so what we're going to have to do instead is probably just recruit a bunch of troops at these settlements so that we do not lose them to Savoy. He's only got a couple of line infantry, right? Yeah, so we only need a couple of line infantry ourselves in each settlement. And then we can just collate them afterwards and make another army. So, for example, at Stuttgart, we might just create a couple of 12-pounder foot artillery. And that way we can just turn that into an army. We have the income. No reason not to. Right, and with that being the case, Alan can go into Venice, pick up the troops, and I guess what we can do is move around to this port for the time being. Although I don't necessarily want the Maratha Confederacy to land their ships at this port and just jump into Venice. That would be unfortunate. Although... We may be able to attack this fleet. We might have a naval battle on our hands against Savoy, Poland, Lithuania, and the Maratha Confederacy. It'd be good to take control of the Adriatic. New port emerges. Let's just make that into a local fishery and we have a cure for scurvy scurvy is an appalling disease that affects sailors and soldiers whilst at sea or away from home for long periods symptomized by spots on the legs and feet spongy gums leading to the loss of teeth bleeding gums and membranes and the opening of scars thought healed. Depression and hallucination are also common symptoms. There have been several claims over the years by European scientists stating a link between scurvy and a lack of fresh fruit and vegetables. The Royal Navy has only recently accepted this due to the efforts of its own surgeons, one of its own surgeons, James Lind. Lind has undertaken a clinical trial in order to prove his suggestion that the putrefaction through scurvy can be remedied by the administration of acid supplements. In doing so, he has discovered that the sailors who recovered most satisfactorily were the ones fed on fruit, particularly citrus fruits such as lemons and limes. It is hoped that these findings will soon be adopted as policy across all disciplines of the armed forces. But with that, unfortunately, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, we will take on the naval battle of the Adriatic Sea.
that's it hopefully you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye